Hey there YouTube, this is Bill coming at you again from uh, Reviews by Bill. Got another review today. Got my LumaForce LF1 flashlight with the uh, little tactical hood on it here as you can see, the beveled edge. A um, little bit about this flashlight, I was at the Crossroads of the West Gun Show three years ago, and I'd really been wanting a, a high-powered flashlight, and I looked at Surefire, because they're like the name brand, and I ran across this booth, and it said LumaForce, and they're like, try our lights were just as good, if not better, than Surefire. So I'm like, alright, I can't pass that up. So I was talking to the guy, whatever, and he had me sold on this flashlight, which is the LF1. Um which is essentially what you see here. This is the LF1 body, and then the LF1, the stock version, has a real short head. This is the um, big hood on it. Anyways, and so I bought it, and this whole thing cost me about 90 bucks, um, and I love it. Um, I usually just keep it in the house, whatever. It's, um, it's really, really, really bright. And with the regular hood on it that comes to about here, and it's about the same diameter as the body, uh, this um, torch, I guess you'd say, works up to 100 yards effectively. Um, but with the hood, basically the part you can <clears throat> see there, it triples that. And I can hit um, buildings, treetops, you name it up to 300 yards, which is a significant increase. Uh, let me tab over and read you a little bit about the LF1. It's a 550 lumen output, um, water resistant, aluminum alloy. Uh, they say it is completely upgradable, replaceable, and interchangeable. Uh, 550 lumens of branding light, and uh, I believe it. It's very bright. Um, they say it has applications in hunting, camping, self-defense. Uh, you can put it on your uh, firearm. It's a one-inch diameter light, which is what you see there. Da -da -da. I think that's about it. And let me see what they say. I'm on their website right now. Um, about the hood, the hood and an empty LF1 body is 70 bucks. They say 300 yard effective range versus 100 without the hood, and it just screws onto the top. Let's see if I can get this off here for you. Lots of threading here. Um, so, put that aside. Here's the hood. Nice little spring in the back there. Uh, one thing I really like about this is I'm a 6 foot, 200 pound white Caucasian male, so maybe this doesn't apply to me as much as, you know, say some of the ladies out there, but it's got a beveled uh, rim, so if you go to hit somebody, it's got a little bit of sharpness to it, I guess. It's pokey. Not like knife pokey, but you definitely would feel it if you hit yourself hard. And then I just set it down like this when I'm not using it. I mean, I don't really worry about scratching the bevels up there. Anyway, so this is the LF1 body. It's uh, really a nice compact size, and the stock hood is probably about like this and it's about the same diameter you can see the batteries in there these are I have Enercell lithium batteries in here I wonder if I can find what kind of battery it is it's a one it's a 12 21 CR 123 3 volt and these little buggers are expensive uh, I was really kind of surprised how expensive they were, and it takes two. 
Um, and I've only ever had to replace them once. Another thing uh, I like about this flashlight is everything's got an O-ring on it. You pro you can see that there, and um, the bottom here I'm untwisting has a really, a, just a ton of threads. Um, so when you put this on here, I mean, you're twisted for a long, long time. Then we'll put the hood back on. And there you go. Uh, push button in the back there. Just push it on off. Um, anyways, review of this flashlight. It is quite hefty. Uh, this is not something I'd recommend backpacking with the big hood. If you have the regular um, hood on it, I would say put one of these in your glove compartment in your car or your recreational vehicle or your boat or something like that. But I would mostly use this big flashlight if you know you're going to be carrying it um, like a tactical situation or you need a torch in a rescue operation. Um, but this is not something, you know, I'd stick in my fanny pack and go jogging at night with. Um, it's very bright. Uh, it's, I think, for a flashlight, it's kind of expensive. Um, that's why I only own one of these tactical flashlights. Um, but it sure does stand up to Surefire well. I have a buddy in the police force, and they give Surefires out, and he's very impressed with this flashlight. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, one thing I have noticed is that uh, this glass on the hood here, it's glass is really, really durable. It doesn't smudge very easily. It stays clean. It's probably got some kind of coating on it, uh, but I just wanted to note that. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. This has been my review of the LumaForce LF1. Um, I highly recommend this flashlight if you need a torch um, for security purposes or like checking the property. Um, but this is certainly not an everyday carry flashlight with the large hood on it. Once again, thanks for stopping by. I'm Bill, your host, and I'll see you soon.